How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NHL 22 franchise rebuild. In today's rebuild we've got the New York Islanders. So if you guys are enjoying the content make sure you slap a like on the video and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And comment on some more videos. Check my socials down in the description as well as a playlist containing other NHL 22 franchise content. Check out my channel as well in case you enjoy other content from me. With that being said, let's get on into the gameplay. All right, guys, locked and loaded into National Hockey League 2022, and we're going to check a look at the roster, see what we got so far. So you have Barzil, Pulak, uh, Pulak, Lee, Bailey, Nelson. I mean, yeah, guys, this team is, uh, there's some good players on this team. Kind of tapers off a little bit uh, down here a little bit, but, you know, there are some there are some good guys here. Look at that. We got Ajo. But not the right one. Not the one that we want. We have Sebastian Ajo, but not the right one. Different, different Ajo. Different Ajo. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. You know, we have we have him, but we also don't have him at the same time. Maybe we could trade for him. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, th this is the that's the team that we got. So it's pretty solid. There's some definitely some players that we want to keep around for sure. Um, uh, Varlamov is our goalie with Sorokin as our backup. That's pretty good i think we're pretty much set there on goalies keep them let's take a look at the line see we need uh probably wouldn't mind upgrading my right winger position i think that's kind of where we're a little bit thin so maybe look for like a right winger here kind of improve that uh you know might want to see if there's a uh, potential upgrade there for said position uh, maybe even a left winger, a uh, left defender, defenseman, that might be good too. Get a little bit better there. Uh, Andy Green is also 38, so, yeah, if I could get someone, a little bit of upgrade there, that'd be nice. So, let's see what trades I can, uh, find for, like, any right wingers and left defenders. Uh, I don't have too much money, so. Okay, I traded a second, third, and fourth round pick to the Colorado Avalanche, and I traded for Ryan Murray. He could play both, uh, left and right, uh, uh, defense, so both positions on both sides of the ice, so that's definitely a nice trade as well for a little bit of flexibility. So, and he's also an upgrade, so that's uh, trade number one. All right, I trade away two fifth, two six, and a seventh round pick to the Minnesota Wild for Ryan Hartman. Uh, he'll be just another right winger to have. It slightly improves my team, uh, but not too much. I probably just gonna have to just worry about upgrading it in the offseason more or less but i definitely think my team uh, is a little bit better especially chemistry wise so and yeah, we'll see what happens there uh with that so no one's on negative chem so yeah guys i will see you in february where hopefully we're pretty good all right guys so we currently have 51 points right now which is pretty nice but it's also not nice at the same time since we are currently ranked sixth in our division but we are in the hunt we are in the hunt right now which is okay and uh, let's take a look at some of my uh, points leaders here. So, uh, Lee is my leading point leader here. Anders Lee, okay. Uh, I guess he's tied with Anthony uh, Bolvillier. Uh, uh, Barzel, okay. I mean, you guys can see, really no one's doing amazing. Uh, but uh, Ryan Harmon's playing pretty well. Uh, we traded for him. And then uh, Murray is not playing very well. <laughs> it's all good, though. Uh, it is early in the season, so, well, not really early, but <laughs> it's kind of more than half the season's gone by, so we need to uh, kind of pick it up if we want to, you know, continue making the playoffs. So let's take a look here, team. So Varlamov uh, and Sorokin uh, are doing okay as, as a goalie tandem. Uh, Varlamov's doing pretty good, Sorokin... A little bit better for him, but it's fine. He's only played a very few amount of games, so. Uh, but are there any moves I want to make? I think I'm just gonna keep the team the way it is, and then we'll probably worry about making moves in the off season. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year, where maybe we'll go on a nice run and slip into the playoffs. It looks like we got uh, went 46, 31, and five, and we did end up making the playoffs. Uh, number two ranked in our division. Oh, wow, the Maple Leafs were really good. 118. Damn. Okay. I'm just gonna simulate one more day, just see who we're taking on it's going to be taking on the capitals in the first round so let's take a look at the stats here for my squad and see how we did so yeah 46 31 and 5 pretty good uh, season from us uh lee with 64 points bars with 61 so i mean you guys see the stats uh and again our team made the playoffs so i can't can't complain uh we ended up having a very nice 
uh, second half of the year. Uh, it looks like we had a few injuries or guys that really didn't play. Like I'm looking at Wallstrom, he didn't really get a lot of minute, uh, a lot of game game time. So I'm wondering if maybe he missed some games. So again, guys, I usually I always play with injuries on. Like when I'm doing normal rebuilds, when I maybe start doing challenges, I'll turn off more settings, uh, like chemistry, morale, and um, injuries and stuff. So. Yeah, this is the team. So, yeah, pretty good stuff from them. And then let's take a look at our goalies. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Varlamov uh, did pretty good. And then uh, Sorokin, much better second half of the year, as you guys can see. He played pretty good. So, here is the playoff tree. Like I said, we are taking on the Capitals. Uh, and this is the rest of the playoff tree, as you guys can see. So, solid stuff. Solid stuff from our very own... Uh, New York Islanders. Uh, I'm not an Islanders fan, as you guys know. I am a Rangers fan. If you guys watched that video, if you didn't, uh, go back and watch it. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So we're taking on the Capitals in round number one, and uh, we've been playing we've been playing really well, seven and three in our last ten games. So here we go. Does that matter? Not really. But game one against the Capitals, can we get the victory? We do. Can we win game two? We're we don't. We're we're tied two one uh one one. We're down two one now because we lost. And don't go down 3-1, and we go down 3-1. So we're probably going to lose in 5. No. Okay. 6. Okay, we're going on game 7. Can we win? Can we win 3 straight? Okay. All right. All right, EA. Fair play. So almost... we. The Capitals blew it through on lead. All right, so we are going to face the Bruins in the second round of the playoffs, the conference semifinals. Let's see if we can beat them. Game 1, we win 5-1. That's nice to see. Game 2... We win in overtime, so we're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? We don't. So it's 2-1, 2-2. Uh, two, two. So we blew a 2-0 lead because we lost three straight. Are we really going to lose four straight? Okay, we're going to game seven. Can we win game seven? We don't. We lose in overtime. Absolutely annoying. So that's upsetting. We had a 2-0 lead, and we blew it. Typical EA fashion. We're always up in the series, and we, then we blow it somehow. Uh, I gotta love this game. All right, guys, I'll see you in the off season. Look at that. Boston ends up winning the Stanley Cup, so good for them. Uh, and let's take a look at the uh, awards, because I'm curious to see, hey, what awards did we get? So individual awards. Did we have any Islanders? If I had to take a guess, probably not, and we don't. All right, cool. So let's go on to the draft in the offseason, see what happened. All right, I traded for Nikolaj Ehlers from the Winnipeg Ducks for two first-round picks, one of our first-round picks fixing this year, and a second-round pick next year. We're at the re-signing phase since we didn't have any draft picks, and we don't have any draft picks next year either, which is uh, pretty funny. So... Yeah, we're just gonna... We're basically just gonna be trading draft picks uh, this time around. So... Barzil is not a free agent, so we I don't know how many free agents we actually have. It doesn't really say we get many. Murray, we might re-sign him, but we also might just let him walk. Because he really didn't do that well with our team, so maybe we just let him walk. Um Chara's 45. I don't really want someone that's 45, but he wasn't bad. Um Praise Ledoux. Yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, offer my guys that need qualifiers, qualifiers, and I'm just going to go in a free agency and fill out my team. I don't really know if there's anyone here that I like really, really want to re-sign. So Tristan Lennox, I signed him. He's probably never going to play in the NHL. And then I'm just going to have a bunch of guys that are going to uh, accept qualifiers here. So there he it is. And then we're just going to head on into free agency and... Hopefully all of my guys come back and uh, we can also offer a few guys some contracts too because we do have $8.475 million. So maybe if I can tweak the rest of my roster, that'd be nice. All right, so I picked up Vinny Hinestroza, uh, another right ring Hawks play center. And then we got Calvin DeHaan, uh, who can play both defense uh, positions, which is cool. Uh, Nemesnikov tried to offer him a contract, but he is going to the Knights. And then we also get Jared McCann. Um, as well, which is a pretty solid signing for us. So uh, I do want to still get like another left winger, or maybe just fill out the rest of my team. So let's see what other how much money I have. Two point four or five million. That's not too bad. So let's see if there's any other players I can get out there, and then uh, kind of just go on my merrily way. 
All right, so we picked up Zanny, uh, Vatanen, uh, another defenseman. I wanted to get another winger, and then I said I didn't have enough money, so now that's annoying. Uh, I tried to offer... I believe it was... Um... It was Isla, but now he's gone, so we're just gonna go after maybe maybe uh Ryder. We'll go after Ryder for six one point six million. Tobias Ryder. Pick him up. And then I think that's gonna be pretty much it, all the moves I'm gonna make. So let's see if we end up getting him. Just advance a few days. Will we get him? Come on, yay, and we do. All right, guys, now we're just going to stimulate the rest of the offseason. I'll see you guys start a second season. All right, guys, so start of the second season. Here it is. So let's take a look at the roster before we do anything. So, so you guys can see some of the moves that we made and see the roster and see the overall, see the progression. So here's the team. I definitely think that this team is better definitely think we got better for sure so um like what i'm seeing I'm taking my goalies as well pretty much the same nothing's changed um and yeah i definitely think we can get back into the postseason the playoffs and make a nice little run i do want to check out the lines just to make sure that everything's all set and yeah it seems like these lines are pretty good i mean you guys can see i actually really like this team looks pretty solid to me i don't know about you guys but definitely think that uh we can make a nice little uh run so defensively our chemistry is a little bit ah uh, it's a little bad not just a little bad it's very bad um fortunately dobson didn't uh accept his qualifier i mean maybe i can throw him a contract and maybe we can have him play because he is in the system uh because that would be nice if he did play with us. But the problem is we don't have any money. And he's not going to accept a one-year $0.97 million deal to play with us. But we'll throw him the contract anyway just in case. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to make any moves. Maybe I'll make one in February. But I'll see you guys at the... Alright guys, so we're in February. And we're kind of struggling a little bit. I mean, we're only 26, 22, and 2. Which isn't awful. Because again, we're still in the hunt. But we are ranked 6. So, uh, last season, though, we were around this uh, point, and what did we do? We ended up making the playoffs and having a nice uh, two and a half months after, or whatever. <laughs> or three, whatever, however many, more, however many months are in the season, I don't even know. Two and a half months, yeah. Okay, that's about right. So, or two-ish months, because we start late. Either way, you guys know what I mean. So we're probably going to make a trade. I'm going to probably trade with Dobson. And yeah, I keep getting offers for the guy Lennox that I signed. Uh, so we're just going to trade him as well because I'm sick and tired of the pop-ups. And also, he's never going to play. So, and he has a little bit of value, it seems. And the thing I'm probably going to trade for is a defender. But yeah, Wallstrom is healthy. He is now my leading uh, point getter right now currently, which is not too bad. Uh, but Eller is, when he's playing, he's struggling. Bars all, so maybe my first line's not that good. Wow, jeez. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but um, it's got to stop. It has got to stop. So yeah, my leading point getters, total points, you know, counts for goals and assists. So that's good to see. And here you guys go. This is everything else you want to see possibly. So here we go. And yeah, I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Middle of the road team. Middle of the road team. 2.85 goals uh, against average for Varlamov. And then Sorokin also has 3.5. Not bad. It's not Again, it's not elite, but it, it'll it'll do the trick. It'll do the job. But let's just see like where we are team-wise in terms of actual uh, ranking in the entire league. Our place. We are currently... 18th overall and yeah i i think i definitely think maybe getting like a right a uh, better right defender could help out like slightly giving up a little less goals maybe translate to a couple more wins so let's see what's out there i'm gonna see if i can make a trade 
for uh, defenseman. All right, guys. So I traded away. I traded away uh, Dobson. I traded away Dobson for Mitchell, uh, Lennox. I, I traded away Lennox, Dobson, second draft picks for uh, Mitchell and Bowden from the Blackhawks. So I definitely think that helps my defense a little bit. Uh, my lines on defense. Uh, not too much, actually. I don't even know if they're in the league. Why are they not in the league? Okay, best lines. No, they're not even in the league. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Okay, I don't know why. So, would have thought that maybe they would have been brought up, but I guess not. So, are, are they just not on my team? Like, I don't understand. In the system. Should I call them up to the NHL? Should I send down, should I send down Aho? Yeah, let me send him down. We'll send him down, and then we're gonna send down, or we're gonna send up, uh, let's send up Mitchell. So we'll call him up, and then we're just gonna do best lines and see what happens. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So it looks like we finished the season in the playoffs again, so we did have a be much better second half. Uh, and we had 94 total points, so kind of snuck in a little bit. So we'll just simulate the day, see who we're taking on in the first round. It's gonna be the Capitals again, who we beat last season, as you guys saw in the simulation in the video. So that's good to see that we made the playoffs for second straight season. So let's take a look at the roster that we've got going on over here. So 45, 13, 34. So yeah, Wallstrom, Barzil, and, uh, Ellers all with 62 points, so nice to see there. I mean, it makes sense because they're getting the most uh, ice time, I would assume. Uh, and I guess we've had a few injuries, like Bailey uh, missed uh, like 10 games. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what, what what that's all about, but it's all good. It's all good. And let's take a look at the these stats over here. Just move my thing over a little bit so that way you guys can actually see it. Yeah, I mean, you guys can see the stats. I think it's pretty solid. I think I think the team, again, could make a nice run. Maybe this year will be our year to the conference finals, which would be awesome. Uh, the goalkeeping was very good, which is what you like to see. And, yeah, I definitely think that, although we didn't score as much in the, in, in the second half, our defense did improve, which I think helped us out in the long run making that making those uh trades for those defensemen and really just moving aho down because he was playing out of position and yeah these are the playoff tree in case you guys are curious you guys want to pause and take a look at it more in depth but uh yeah, we're in the top right corner taking on the capitals so let's see if we can beat them again so here we go game one against the capitals in the first round of the playoffs Stanley cup playoffs game one can we win we do can we win game two we do. So we're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? We lose 2-1. to one. Okay, so we're up 2-1 still. And we win in overtime. We're up 3-1. We lose game 5. Can we win game 6? Please, EA. We can. And we are going to the second round once again. And this time we're taking on the New Jersey Devils. Okay. Game 1 against the Devils. We lost 10-3. Wow. Okay, they smoked us. 10 goals. Game two, we win. All right. Game three, we win 4-3. Can we win game four? We lose game four. Now it's a best of three, pretty much. Game five, we lose. Come on, yay. Game six, we're going with this nice of game seven for the second straight season. And we win. So we're going to the Eastern Conference Finals to take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, this is a tough matchup. But maybe we could beat them. You never know in this game. This is why you play the games. Game one against Toronto. Can we beat them? We lose 6-3. Okay. Game two. We lose 4-1. So we're down 2-0. And we go down 3-0. Can we at least get a win? No. Nah. EA. Fucking EA, man. You can give me a win. Just pathetic. All right. Well, no Stanley Cup for us. I guess we'll just see the Toronto win the Stanley Cup. Look at that. Toronto won the Stanley Cup. Not a surprise. Okay. Not a surprise. They were really, really good. Just annoying, though.
really annoying. I just can't seem to ever get over the hump in this freaking game. <sighs> just, it, 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 it's piling on, just piling on. Any awards, any Islanders? No. Okay. All right, third and final season. We've got, we still got our future picks, so we're going to look to make a ton of moves to make this team. Okay, I traded five first-round picks for David Perron and Dylan Kozis on the Sabres because I wasn't going to use those five first-round picks anyway. This is my last season, so that gets us right to the uh, amount of money that we needed uh, before we hit over the salary cap. So now I'm just going to re-sign most of my guys and kind of just continue on free agency. So see you guys once I'm there. All right, guys, so it's time to sign some of my guys, tender some of my guys. So, uh, well, the guy I just traded for, Perron's a free agent. That's annoying. Wallstrom's a free agent. Mayfield's going to be unrestricted. Okay, so we kind of, like, are cap struck here a little bit. And also Varlamov. Ooh, okay. This could be kind of annoying. I should not have traded for... Why did it let me trade for him if he was going to be a free agent? That's so dumb. Okay, well, I guess we'll figure out a way to make this work, hopefully. Um, I want to somehow keep... Uh, I need to somehow keep Barzal, because I don't want to lose him. But he wants, like, a ton of money. So I guess I can qualify him. But that's, like, really annoying, because I need to keep him. Uh, then Peron will also give him a contract as well, like 5.7. Hopefully he signs that. If he doesn't, then I'm kind of screwed. Wallstrom, same thing, just qualify. And uh, Mayfield, I'll try to offer him a contract, see if we could sign him. But this is going to be tough. We're not have a lot of cap space, so I'm going to have to look to move some of my contracts that I don't need. Resigned uh, Volimov, which is good. We re-signed re Scott Mayfield. David Peron did not accept, so that's annoying. Uh, really, really annoying. And I don't know how much money I still have left. I have not that much. So, I can't make any trades right now. Because it doesn't let you. Otherwise, I probably would have traded away... I might have to trade away a few of these guys here. Can I make some trades? Like, it, 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 like the fact that I can't make trades is really annoying. So, Alright, so let, let me just look at my contract situation here. So I want to trade away, I'm probably going to have to trade away, uh, 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 Pajou, Pajou, uh, I don't know how to say his name, and then Dahan, they might be, like, the guys that I trade, um, and then I can try to re-sign Peron, Peron, Barcel's going to get offered a contract, I'm not going to match it either, so... I'm probably going to have to free up even more money, so this should be fun. All right, uh, I'm just going to save it the free agency and make some moves once I get there. Lucas Raymond, I salary dumped uh, Peju, Henestroza, uh, and uh, uh, Vatanen because I just didn't have enough money. So now I have a little bit more money, so I can I can get back Peron at the very least. Um, I would also like to be able to get back... Uh, like I said, I'd like to get back uh, Barzil, but at the very least, he is a restricted free agent. So, but Peron, if we get him, that'd be nice. Or we could just sign Olofsson, who could do basically the same thing. Maybe we actually sign him instead. We'll give him, a, we'll give him like a seven-year deal for 8.95. I know he's a little bit more expensive, but might as well just go for him. Go big or go home, right? Okay, so we did pick up Victor Olofsson. Okay, so I'm cool with that. Uh, well, now we don't have much money, and I need to clear up more cap space now because I only have 1.315 uh, million, and I want to be able to match Barzil, and I need to be able to get back. So, yeah, see, he... Yeah, I need to free up, like, about 18 million. So this could be tough. All right, let's see if there's any other trades I can make here. Okay, so I know I just sat, signed Olsen, but I need to clear up cap space. So I traded away Victor Olsen, third and a fourth round pick, to the Blues, and we picked up, uh, who did we pick up? Clipman? That's what his name was? I don't remember. Um, 
Oh, wow. I just made the blues like a, a, a powerhouse. <laughs> nice. Cool. Didn't even realize that they just got McKinnon. All right. Clum Costin. There we go. Clum Costin. And we also got a second round pick. <sighs> I have to trade Lee now because Lee is also making a lot of money. So we're going to trade him as well. Okay. I traded away five second round picks to the wild for a first round pick. Because I'm trying to make a trade with the Kings. And the reason I'm doing that is because they have a pretty good uh, guy that I would possibly want to trade for who is not making a lot of money. And that would be McGradden, Roy McGradden, who I guess is a rookie or was a rookie. So I don't know if this will even work, but we're going to try it. We're going to try again. Byfield from the Kings. It's fine. I traded. I had to wait. Trade away Anders Lee. I traded the Holmstrom, the first round pick that I acquired. So I really needed to clear up cap space so I can re-sign, mainly to re-sign Barzil. So we're gonna do that. So there we go. That should get him back on the team for a reasonable amount of money. He might. I guess we'll give him. I guess we can give him like nine million. I wonder if I can get him for that. Maybe he'll accept that. Matt Barzil, hopefully. And then if we can get back Wallstrom as well, that'd be fantastic. If I give him like two years, because he doesn't. We don't even need that many years. And then I can offer him like four, five, five million, and that might work. So hopefully that gets them back. All right, so Wallstrom re-signed, so that's good. And also Matthew Bars will resign. So there we go, fantastic. And now I want to take a look at my team, take a look at the roster. So I don't know how much money we actually have. Probably don't have that much, but maybe we can make like one more signing potentially, you know, or even two for like right winger defense would be awesome. So let's see what's out there. How much money do I have left in free agency? We have 2.69 million. Okay, we could fill out the rest of my team with this. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys once I'm done making all my moves. Evgeny Dadanov. And I think that might be... Is that on my cap? Or do I have like enough? Maybe 1.25 million. And we'll just sign one more winger, I guess. See what's out there. Uh, Hathaway could potentially get you. For 1.25 million. Garnet Hathaway, if not, maybe. Baby Noison could work. For 1.25. Or Noson could work. So, Stefan Noson. So, we'll get one or the other, and then I'll be pretty happy. Alright, so we picked up Garnet Hathaway, which is good. And uh, Stefan Noson, don't need him. Alright, guys, so just gonna see the rest of the offseason. I'll see you guys in the third and final season. Third and final season. This is the roster for the New York Islanders and what I've got. It's It could be better, but it could be worse. And I, did, I actually did think it's pretty good. It looks good on paper. I mean, you guys see the team. It looks, looks like it's pretty deep. You guys see lots of players here. I think, I think we could maybe make some noise this year. Who knows? But you get back most of my guys I'm happy about. And goalies, you know, Varlamov and Sorokin, still the same combination of goalies kept that the entire video which is nice and yeah if you want to see the lines i do think our offense looks pretty good i definitely think we could score a lot of goals defense could be somewhat questionable just because it's not very good chemistry wise like the fit but um we're just gonna rock with it so uh i'm gonna simulate to february and i'll see you guys in february hopefully we're good All right, guys, so we're in February, and we had an amazing start to the season, and we've tapered off. So now we're only 22, 23, 22, and 5, so not very good. And I really don't have any much flexibility in terms of moves that I can make. So this is pretty much the team, and here's how they're doing. So uh, Ellers is uh, my leading point getter right now. Barzo, 38. Kozen, 36. I mean... It, it's balanced, and it doesn't seem like we're really getting, like, blown out. And I guess we have, like, Byfield's not doing... When he's on the ice, not doing so great. Um, 
Yeah, my defense is letting me down a little bit. Which I kind of figured it would because the fit's not there. Uh, and you guys can see the rest of the stats here if you guys want to take a look. I mean, there's not much to it. Not much to it. I mean, we've we've done well every second half of the season that we've played. So I could just bank on that. I could just bank on that. I really could. I don't think there's any moves that we would that we could even make that would make the team that much better. How much cap space do we have? 0.3 million. I'd have to like trade a player. Uh, maybe Bowden because he's not in the league. Hathaway and Dehan might be able to get me like a like a, a decent defenseman. So I'll see what's out there. But chances are I'm probably just going to keep the team the way it is. Lundqvist, uh, Lund uh, Vist, and Nemeth, uh to the Rangers, no less. Uh, so I traded for two defensemen. And let me just show you guys the trade. Traded a couple third-round picks. We traded away. Uh, okay, I didn't want to do that. Um, when I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, I traded away a couple third round picks. Uh, Gath, uh, Hathaway, Dahan, uh, Bowden, and like I said, the third round picks for Lundvist and uh, Patrick Nemeth. I don't know if Patrick Nemeth's gonna be in the league, but I do know uh, Lundqvist is gonna be in the league. So let's take a look at the lines. I mean, this is pretty much gonna be the team, guys. Uh, again, the offense still looks pretty good. And then the defense, I think, is... Okay, Nemeth is here. Is it better? Eh, not really. It's, it's about the same. We'll see if it helps. I, I'm just going to simulate and hopefully have a good second half of the year. So I'll see you guys once I'm uh, at the end of the season and hopefully in the playoffs. So we somewhat turned it on and we did end up making the playoffs with 94 points, uh, 44, 32, and 6. We'll simulate another day. I believe we're going to be taking Philly. No, we're taking on Toronto. Great. Fantastic. Love that. Ah, it's going to be tough. Okay, this will be a tough first round. This is going to be a tough first round. I mean, if we get past Toronto, that'd be huge. Uh, but yeah, big second half of the season, though, for some of these guys. And... Um, I mean, you guys to see the stats. I do think that this is our best offensive team that we've had uh, in the video, but defensively, I definitely think we took a little bit of a hit. Um, but we'll take a look. Let's take a look at how we did defensively, how we stacked. Uh, I mean, from the numbers here, it's not awful, but I'm not sure. I'm not really. I do think that I think that there could be some improvement. I mean, the goalkeepers were took a little bit of a step. Took a little bit of a step down, uh, Varlamov, but it's fine. It's still okay. I mean, what did we do? How did we do? Uh, goals, four per game. Yeah, 3.16, so we scored a lot. 3.02, that's not bad. It's not bad. So, we're just going to... Uh, well, I wanted to show you guys the playoff tree, actually, so let me do that really quick. So, we're taking on, like I said, the Maple Leafs, and again, it's going to be a tough matchup. Really not the team you want to face in the first round. Really, you don't want to face them ever, but hey, we're going to try our best here. So, here's the playoff tree. Like I said, Toronto and Scotiabank Arena. So, here we go. Game one against the Maple Leafs. Can we win? We do. Good. Three to two, we win. Can we win game two? We win three to two. Can we win game three? All right. We've won three straight games, all of them being three to two. And then we won 5-1. So, nice little cheeky sweep for the Islanders. So, that's nice. And who are we taking on in the second round? We don't even know yet. It's going to be Boston. Okay. So, the Bruins in the second round. Game 1, we win 3-2. Game 2, we win 3-2. Game 3, we win 4-3 in overtime. And Game 4, we win 2-1. All right. So, so far, so good for the Islanders. We're playing really, really well right now. And who are we taking on in the conference finals? It's be Philadelphia. All right. The Flyers versus the Islanders. Game one. 
we lose an OT. Tough. Game two, we lose. Game three, we lose an OT, and would you know it, we go 8-0 in the playoffs and then get to the conference finals and choke again. Don't you love this game? Amazing. All right, well, that's just how the video ends. Un fucking believable and the Blackhawks win the freaking Stanley Cup I'm so mad because we were we were we were undefeated and I didn't say it we were undefeated in the playoffs and then we get swept by Philly just just it's just it's just like it just doesn't end it just doesn't end it really doesn't end <sighs> individual awards any Islanders doesn't look like it. So, well, that's how the video ends, guys. Let's go to the like on it and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And comment below somebody does. Check my social down below the description as well as a playlist containing other NHL 22 franchise content. So, yeah, in the next video, we've got... Uh, ooh, wait a minute. I, I don't know if I did this right or not. So, the Islanders... Yeah, oh, no, okay, no, I did this right. So the Islanders, and now we're doing a central team. Right. So the Predators then, I think, correct? Yeah. It's going to be the Predators and then the Canadians. So yeah, I just want to make sure that I got that right, that I did that correctly, because I don't know if I did that in my thing. But either way, it's going to be one of those two teams. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Predators. I'll double check. But guys, if you're enjoying the content, leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully you have a great rest of your night. Check out all my socials. Check out my playlist. Check out my channel, and yeah. Hopefully you guys have a great yesterday night. See you soon, and peace.